from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out to the storm and said, Have you ever in your lifetime commanded the morning and shown the dawn its place, for taking hold of the ends of the earth, till the wicked are shaken from its surface? The earth is changed as is clay by the seal, and died as though it were a garment. But from the wicked the light is withheld, and the, and the arm of the pride is shattered. Have you entered into the sources of the sea? or walked about in the depths of the abyss? Have the gates of the death been shown to you, or have you seen the gates of darkness? Have you comprehended the breath of the earth? Tell me, if you know all, which is the way to the dwelling place of light, and where is the abode of darkness, that you may take them to their boundaries and set them there, send them on their homeward paths? You know, because you were born before them, and the number of your letters is great. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am little account. What can I answer you? I put my hands over my mouth. Though I have spoken once, I will not do so again. Though twice, I will do so no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Guide me, O Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have probed me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journey and my rest, you Scrutinize. Scrutinize. With all my ways, you are familiar. Guide me, Guide me O Lord, along your everlasting way. Where can I go for, for your spirit? Where can your presence, from your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink down to the nether world, you are present there. Guide, Guide me, O Lord, along the everlasting way. If I, if I take the wings of dawns, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even your hand will shall guide me. Guide and me, O Lord, along the everlasting way. 
truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Your wonderful are wonderfully are your works. Guide me, O Lord, along the everlasting way. is at hand, repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good morning, everybody. God bless you. I have to tell you a little secret. When we wear our masks, we might have to speak a little louder at church. So like when I say the Lord be with you, when we have these on, sometimes it can be like, I'll say like the Lord be with you, and then you go, and also with you, and with your spirit. But we ought to be, and with your spirit. Let's try it. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Oh, so much better. And then let's say I say a prayer, and I, let's just say I'm doing the opening prayer, and I say, ba 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 through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Oh, that's better. Okay. Very good, everybody. Sometimes we can forget, and you know, the thing of it is that our voices just don't go as quickly through these. So, today is an awesome day for a lot of reasons. Can anybody think of one reason that Father Mike might be really happy today? It's a very good day because it's October and I love October. October is fall and it's the, the leaves start changing. If you look out, I'm sure, have, raise your hand if you notice maybe the leaves changing just a little bit and then they fall off and then they're beautiful, they blow around. And the only unfun thing is that you have to rake them up and, you know, do all those things. But um, I don't have to do that, so I'm pretty happy. But, but I used to have to do that. When I was a kid, my dad used to have me and my brother all the time. We would rake the leaves. We'd put them onto a, a tarp and drag them. And, oh, my gosh. Uh, but you know what? It's beautiful. October. I love October. And I love apple cider. Anybody like apple cider? Oh, my gosh. It's so good. And then, and then all the good. The air is a little cooler. And... I love October. October is the month, one of two months set aside for, anybody know? Two months set aside in a very special way. Who is that back there in the fifth grade? Is that you, Joseph? What is it, Joseph? What? 
Mary, exactly. I couldn't hear you. Uh, Mary, but in a special way, October is the month of the rosary. And so today is the, the first school mass in October with the month of the rosary. And the rosary is such a special, special gift. And I try to pray my rosary every single day and usually I succeed. I prayed my rosary already today. I prayed it this morning early. And I always pray for you guys when I pray my morning rosary. And the rosary is a special gift. And Mary has told us many times we, that she would like us to pray the rosary. And so did you know, boys and girls, that all of your teachers and Mrs. Borland and myself, we all prayed the rosary uh, together a couple days ago for all of you. And we all prayed after school for all each and every one of you and your families. And so the rosary, Father Mike is happy because it's October and it's the month of the rosary. It's also the first Friday of the month, which means what? What do we celebrate on the first Friday of the month? Sacred Heart of Jesus. The Sacred Heart of Jesus. And so that is a special day when we remember that Jesus has a special heart for us. And that Jesus' heart is the Sacred Heart. And that we all want our hearts. Everybody put your hand on your heart. We want this heart to be like the heart of Jesus. And the heart of Jesus loved everybody. Every, 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 everybody. And so much... The, the, the love that your mom and dad have for you is a lot. But you know that Jesus loves you even that times infinity. Isn't that amazing? That's the sacred heart of Jesus. Everybody say it with me. Sacred heart of Jesus. Sacred heart of Jesus. First fight of the month, we love the sacred heart. Today is also a special event is happening later today that means bratwurst. What might that be over there? Mila, is that you? Yeah. Oktoberfest. Everybody come by later. You can get some Oktoberfest. Bratwurst, hot dogs, pulled pork, uh, hot chocolate. And by the way, gay, we're going to have some hot chocolate tonight too. We're going to have all of this uh, cookies and it's going to be great. Everybody make sure your parents come to Oktoberfest. It's also, oh my gosh, if, if there's not even, I'm already so happy, but we already have even another reason that I, we should be happy. Today is the feast day of the guardian angels. Let's all say the prayer together. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Do you know that the guardian angels, we talked about the archangels the other day, and it was Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. But today we celebrate that all of us, that every single person has a guardian angel. The Bible says so. Jesus says so. In the gospel we just heard, he said that the angels, uh, he says, love all of the children because I say to you that their angels in heaven always look. Are always are looking at the Father and after them. Which means that all of us, especially you all, but we all have a guardian angel. And our guardian angel keeps us safe. Our guardian angel, raise your hand if you've ever been afraid in your life. It's okay to admit it, you've been afraid. Maybe as we get older we get afraid of different things, but people get afraid sometimes. But then we remember that we have a guardian angel. We can't see the guardian angel. But remember, does anybody remember how many times God talks about angels in the Bible? Remember, we talked about it last time. Maybe one of our fifth graders might remember, like Eli perhaps. Eli, do you remember how many times the angels are mentioned in the Bible? Ballpark, Hallie, do you remember? Oh, was that you, Hallie? 3,500 times God talks about the angels. God doesn't talk about something that's not real. We can't always see God, but God is there. We can't see our angel, but our angel is there. And our angels always protect us and guide us. You guys are all here because your guardian angels put you here at St. Joseph. 
I'm here. The bishop could have put me at 128 different parishes, but the bishop put me here because my guardian angel wanted me to be here. Do you know, like our guardian angels always plop us in the right place. The reason that your parents ever fell in love with each other was because the guardian angels, their guardian angels knew to put them together where they met and fell in love. Isn't that beautiful? Guardian angels are everywhere, my friends. And our guardian angels get to, are always looking after us, especially when we pray that prayer. Because that prayer... We're asking our angel to, all, to, to show us the way, to protect us, to rule us, and to, got, and to uh, light our way. And so, my friends, we have a lot of reasons to be happy today. And one more reason we have to be happy is that we are about to receive Jesus at the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let's practice when I say some things here. In a few minutes, I'm going to say, The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. I love it. That's great, guys. Let's see. We'll get the petitions ready for Molly. Pope Francis, Archbishop Thompson, Father Mike, and all the leaders of the church, that they may listen to the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of the nation, that they would promote life, peace, and justice, and work together for the common good, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our school community, that they will, that we shine our light on all that we do and work together, to love others as Christ loved us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick or suffering, that they would experience the healing power of Christ's love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that the light of Christ would shine upon them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Bradley Merriweather, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's pray for a wonderful October Fest tonight and for a good Roman sale of St. Vincent. Let's pray that all of us will love Mary more and pray our rosaries more during this month of the Blessed Mother. We pray to the Lord. Lord,
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord receive the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise of the Lord and the Savior, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring before you as we venerate your holy angels and graciously grant that under their constant protection we may be delivered from present dangers and brought happily to life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures, in whom you delight, redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor you show how infinitely great you are, to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty. And we are united with them in exult exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirits upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God of life and God, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let me now pray God's blessing over our first graders, kindergartners, and second graders. May Almighty God be in your hearts and give you spiritual communion in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
course of time, may be our healing for eternity. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the 